Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Today we're going to take a focus on the Ocean Shore Cocktail. Now, exactly why it has that name, I have no idea. We have an Ocean Shores here in Washington State, but I kind of doubt that's where the name come from. Uh, instead, it's taking and using a slow gin as one of the major ingredients to it. We're going to be using the Bitter Truth slow gin. Um, but again, uh, slow gin, Ocean Shores, well, who knows? But let's take a look. We're going to start off with half ounce of gin. And then a full ounce of slow gin. Now, since uh, slow gin is essentially made by taking slow berries, that's a type of berry they have over in Europe, um, and soaking that in gin and adding some sugar to it, uh, this also has gin in it as well. At least real slow gin is made that way. Some of the slow gins you might find in the market are basically just gin with coloring and some flavorings and stuff like that. So look for the real slow gin, like, like the bitter truth. So it's an ounce of slow gin. We're gonna add a half ounce of lemon juice. And then half of an egg white. Now rather than letting you see me mess around and try to figure out half of an egg white, I've pre-measured half an egg white here, uh, but it is fresh. And then a quarter ounce of orgeat syrup. Now, since this has egg white in it, that means we need to shake it for a while just to kind of get that frothy flavor and, and foamy texture that the egg white's gonna add. Often you'll see people do a dry shake by shaking the ingredients first without ice and then with ice. Um, with half an egg white, it's not gonna froth an awful lot and it's just easier this way. I still have to shake for quite a while. There we go. Strain this into our glass. I'm pulling back on the strainer a bit to try to make sure as much of the froth gets through as possible because that adds a nice texture and mouthfeel to the drink. So it's got a slightly creamy, slightly almost candy flavor without being sweet. Uh, the sweetness is coming from the orgeat syrup, which is called almond flavor to it, and almond is fairly popular in European candies. Uh, there's also a little teeny bit of sweetness coming from the slow gin. Uh, we've got the citrus that is kind of breaking through both of those. And then around that, we have the botanicals of the gin, both from the straight gin I added, plus the gin that's in the slow gin, that is adding a regular spice rack to the entire thing. Uh, so it's delightfully well blended, and. I'm no closer than I was before of understanding why it's called the Ocean Shores, so if you know, let us know. There we have the Ocean Shores cocktail.